Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Welcome to Open Heavens Devotional Review for today, Tuesday, the 14th of March, 2023. I'm carrying the magic Open Heavens is uttered by that in the Lord, Pastor E.A. Adeboye, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. Open Heavens is a guide to a close fellowship with God. Let us pray. Father, we want to say thank you for another opportunity to be counted among the living. Thank you for blessing us with your word. Thank you for enriching our lives through your words. Again, we say, blessed be your name, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Thank you for the sweet inspiration that you have given our daddy in the Lord to author this book. We do not take this for granted. Father, we pray, O oh Lord, that you will continually inspire our dad in the Lord, even to do greater and greater works for you. That we, as we hear your word, that our lives will be transformed and will not be the same again in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The topic for today is the world has purchased you. The world has purchased you. Our memory verse is taken from the book of 1 Corinthians 6, verse 20. For ye are bought with a price. Therefore glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God's. 1 Corinthians 6, verse 20. For ye are bought with a price. Therefore glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God's. Our Bible passage is taken from the book of John 1, verse 1 to 18. It's a long one, but I would like us to read it. I'll read quickly. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Through Him all things were made. Without Him nothing was made that has been made. In Him was life, and that life was the light of all mankind. The light shines in the darkness, and darkness has not overcome it. There was a man sent from God, whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify concerning that light, so that through him all might believe. He himself was not light. He came only to witness to the light. The true light that gives light to everyone was coming into the world. He was in the world, and though the world was made through him, the world did not recognize him. He came to the world to to that which was his own, but his own did not receive him. Yet to all who did receive him, to those who believe in his name, he gave the right to become children of God. Children born not of natural descent, nor of human decision, or a husband's will, but born of God. The word became flesh and made his dwelling among us. We have seen his glory, the glory of the one and only son who came from the father, full of grace and truth. John testified concerning him. He cried out, saying, This is the one I spoke about when I said, he who comes after me has surpassed me because he has he was before me. Out of his fullness we have all received grace in place of grace already given. For the law was given through Moses, grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. No one has ever seen God, but the one and only Son, who is himself God and is the closest relationship with the Father, has made him known. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The message. From one Bible reading, we can clearly see that the word is Jesus Christ. John 1 verse 14. The word is extremely powerful. If you can know and be filled with the word, then there is nothing that will be impossible to you. If you meet someone and the fellow is introducing himself to you, he is likely to tell you that he does what he does. For example, a civil engineer will most likely introduce himself as one. In getting to know the word also, you must first know that the word does according to John 1 verse 1 to 3. The word is the creator of all things. Is there anybody who can duplicate the sun, moon, seas or the human brain? Do you know that it is the word that created you? To prove that all his creations are masterpieces, he put a unique code in your fingerprint such that no creation is exactly like you. Someone else may have the same height, looks and complexion as you but no two people are exactly the same. He made you unique for a purpose and you will fulfill the purpose in Jesus' name. Amen. When you see a masterpiece, it is usually extremely valuable. So valuable that no one can place a price on it and it's thus often unctioned to the highest bidder. Matthew 16 verse 26 says that your soul is so precious that even all the riches in the world were to be put in a bid for your soul there still wouldn't be enough value for it. That is why I marvel when I see people selling their soul for the devil for material wealth. Such people are selling themselves short. The only price that is worth being paid for your soul is the blood of Jesus Christ, the Word himself. 
he has shed his blood and paid the price for you to be with him for eternity. Some sell their souls to the devil because they are lusting after a woman. Some sell their souls by telling lies so as not to get in trouble with men. There is nothing the world and the devil has to give that can be as valuable as your soul. Don't sell yourself short to the enemy. The world has already purchased you with his blood. Praise to the Lord. Hallelujah. The topic once more is the world has purchased you. The world has purchased you. And if you want to ask who is the world, according to the book that we read, that's the NIV version of John 1, verse 1 to 18, as we read, the 14th verse, has made us understand that the word became flesh and made his dwelling among us. We have seen his glory and the glory of the one and only Son who came from the Father, full of grace and truth. We have seen clearly that the word is Jesus Christ, the one and only Son of God. The word is extremely powerful. Praise the Lord. And if you are filled with the word, you can be rest assured that nothing shall be impossible for you. Like our daddy, the Lord has told us that when we see people, when they want to introduce themselves, they most likely introduce themselves with what they do. And according to the Bible reading verses that we read today, we are able to understand, if you look at that first John, the three, it says, Through him all things were made. Without him nothing was made that has been made. Which means that our the word, which is Jesus Christ, is the creator of all things. Is the creator of all things, everything, including yourself and myself. Praise the Lord. He created the sun, the moon, the seas, even the human brain as illustrated by that in the Lord. And the good thing is that it, they are everything that the world created are masterpieces. They are they and nobody can make a duplicate of them. They are masterpieces because we are they are everything the world, Jesus Christ created. Are unique and to you know to corroborate this we can see that even the human no matter how alike some pe- two people can be they never have the same fingerprints that is to tell you that we are we are very unique and as unique as we are so is our purpose on earth and I pray that uh, that the Lord has prayed for us that we will fulfill purpose in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ Amen. And like the book of Matthew 16 has told us, you know, because we are, we are very precious. And being precious, no one can place a price on us. The Bible says that what shall it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his own soul? You know, your soul, your body, everything is precious because our the, the God that created you, created you as a masterpiece. And nothing is big enough not the whole earth, nothing. He said, what shall it profit a man to gain the whole world? That means even if the whole world were to be quantified, it's not enough for it, for, for to purchase your soul. Praise the Lord. Our daddy in the Lord, through the open heavens today, is admonishing you and I that we should not sell ourselves short. We are extremely valuable, like we have said earlier on, and nothing, the whole, even the entire world, is not enough if it is quantified cannot buy our soul he says what shall we profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul that means the whole world is not is not enough and there's a good news for you and i the good news is that the world who is jesus christ has bought our soul he has paid a price for our soul through his the blood of Jesus, like the word, like we have been told, that the only price that is worth being paid for your soul is the blood of Jesus, as the blood of the world himself. And the good news is that why was our soul paid for? He, he has he shed his blood and paid for the price of the soul of you and I, so that we can have eternal life. So that after this earth. Because the material thing that you might want to sell your soul to will end in this world, in this temporary world. In fact, for some people, the wife that they, the woman that they sold their soul to the devil for, will you know will decay in their very presence. That wealth, that car, that house, you know that you you sold your your heart to the devil for, in your very eye 
there will be greater and newer version in your very high. It will, you know, it will, it will, it will change. You know, it, 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 it will, it will go out of fashion. It will lose its value. So nothing is worth it losing your soul for. So don't sell yourself short. Why don't you hold on? Take advantage of this blood of Jesus that has been that that has been shed for you, and so that you can have eternal life. Hold on to the eternal life. And I pray that the Lord will give us even greater understanding of this word in Jesus' name. And that it has made us understand that a lot of people have sold themselves, their souls to the devil. Maybe because they are lusting after a woman. So no matter what it costs, they don't mind to go and go to Abalis because of they want to get rich. Some people have joined a different occultic group. Because of promotion, they have tried, decided to kill, to you know, have their hands stained with blood and all sorts of things. Some people like her daddy have said this can look subtle. That they, some people have you've had to tell lies because you want to please men. In ways, in what way have you have you done that? You know, like I was telling a friend of mine, some people today, I said some people because they are not focusing on things above, but they are more focused on the earthly things. They have actually because the house they built, it is on. You know, they have done a lot of atrocities to build that house. There are a lot of houses around that even when they, they used to be very beautiful in those days, but right now when a buyer wants to buy the house, they are not even pricing the house. It is the land that they are valuing. In fact, because of the house that is that the land is sit that that is, because of the house that is on you know that is on that land, it has even lost its value. Because they will say that because we need to demolish that land, we will now pay less the money to demolish it. So is it really worth it? Is the material thing and the earthly thing? It could even be different things. It's not worth it. Jesus Christ has paid it. Or don't short change yourself. Don't sell yourself short to the enemy. All the enemy wants to do is to entice you with the material things. But the material things is not worth it. In fact, when you align with Jesus Christ, like we have been told at the beginning, that when you are filled with the world, nothing shall be impossible unto you. So what are you supposed to do? Our memory verse says, For ye are bought with a price. Therefore, glorify God. The one who has bought you, who has paid the price of your head. Glorify him with your body. Glorify him with your spirit. Glorify him with everything that you have. And ensure that you work according to his plan for your life. So that you can fulfill purpose. And at the end of the day, you can gain eternity. May this be your portion and mine in Jesus' name. Amen. The key point says, when you commit sin, the devil sees you as a fool. Because you are selling yourself. Shots. I get the adventure you have sold yourself to the devil. Why don't you cry out to God that Father wash me in your blood? Have mercy upon me. Wash me in your blood. I translate me from the kingdom of darkness. Set me free and I will be free indeed. If you have said this prayer, I need you to connect to your God. Connect to God by going to a Bible believing church. Don't allow the devil to take advantage of you again. Go to where you can grow in this new faith that you have developed. Go to a Bible delivering church and grow there. In I pray that the Lord will direct you and He will guide you and help you and feed you with the right things that will help you grow spiritually in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you so much for being part of the review for today. God bless you. Amen.